Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing my thoughts on Bailu and explain why I don't think it's worth rerolling for her based solely on her value in the early game progression of the Forgotten Hall. However, if you are a fan of the character and would like to start with her, then by all means, go ahead. For reference, I played Bailu extensively during the beta. First of all, it's not necessary to start with two healers on your account because you will only be using one team until floor 11 in the Forgotten Hall. Additionally, all other content in the game will require you to use only one team. This means that Natasha or March 7 would would suffice as your defensive option. While you may believe that having Bailu from the start will be advantageous once you reach floor 11, there are some things to consider. Patch 1.0 will last for 6 weeks. During this time, it's unlikely that you'll have enough resources to properly build 8 characters to handle floor 11 and beyond. Keep in mind that before you reach Trailblaze level 40, the max level for your characters will be 60 while enemies starting from floor 11 will be level 54 and higher even if you manage to clear floor 11 during the 1.0 patch you won't be able to progress to the memory of chaos floors which start after floor 15 and have enemies at level 65 and beyond without trailblazer level 50 which would allow you to level up your characters to 70 However, it's unlikely that you will reach this level in 6 weeks. Essentially, if you can't reach the resettable floors during the 1.0 patch, there's no real advantage to clearing permanent floors early as they do not reset. Realistically, you will unlock the memory of chaos somewhere within the 1.1 patch at best, assuming you are playing the game optimally by saving your fuel for Trailblazer level 50 and not refreshing trailblazer power with stellar jades when progressing beyond floor 11 having one healer on each side is not mandatory instead you can use a tank such as mark 7 here's an example from a player in cn showing how it is done with just one healer keep in mind they only use three units in this example and more optimal lineups could be run for this specific fight if you want to watch the wolf fight the link is provided in the description down below also in patch 1.1 a new healer character could potentially be introduced making it even less valuable to reroll specifically for bailu regarding her future usefulness it's uncertain and will depend on the content that the game introduces if there are more situations that involve let's say aoe heavy damage her immigration stacks may prove beneficial in keeping the team alive currently in the late game she would be particularly useful for characters like arlan who benefit from having low hp to maximize their damage output her ability to resurrect and provide invigoration would significantly reduce the risk of arlan dying thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more honky star rail content don't forget to check out my twitch channel where i stream daily and feel free to join my discord community by following the links in the description below i appreciate your support and hope to see you again in the next video have a wonderful day